we are recording. Hey there YouTube, my name is Kirby, this is Boss, welcome to my apartment, welcome to my channel, and today we are going to be talking about how to overcome fear. In regards to my video last week, I asked you guys what kind of videos do you want to see, and a lot of y'all said, we want some Jesus videos! So then I scurried on over to my Instagram and I said, well, if I were to film a Jesus video, what kind of content would you like me to talk about? It varied from relationships, to self-worth, to reaching unbelievers, to overcoming certain situations. And I thought this was the perfect time for me to talk about overcoming fear because I helped one of my roommates write a little sermon thing about overcoming fear. And I think this is something that so many people need to hear and I'm super excited to share it with you all. First, we need to whip out our Bibles and we need to go to Luke chapter 8 verses 22 through 25. You know what's funnier than 24? 25. One day he, meaning Jesus, got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, let us go across the other side of the lake. So they set out, and as they sailed, he fell asleep. And a windstorm came onto the lake, and they were filling with water, and they were in danger. And they went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he awoke and rebuked the winds and the raging waves, and they ceased. There was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid. And they marveled, saying to one another, Who then is this that he commands even the winds and water? And they obey him. So just to summarize what just happened in this passage, Jesus and his disciples hop in a boat and they're sailing across this ginormous lake to get from one town to the next so Jesus can, you know, preach and heal and do all kinds of cool Jesus stuff. Jesus decides, I'm gonna take a cat nap. And as he's sleeping, these winds and these waves just start crashing, flooding the ship and rocking them all over the place. And the disciples are pretty freaking scared. If I were in that situation, pretty sure I'd be freaking out as well. It's funny because the disciples this whole time have seen Jesus do all these miracles. They know him as the Messiah. But in this situation, they begin to doubt. They are afraid of the storm that they're in. And they're afraid because they don't have control over the storm. The storm is bigger than they are. It's out of their control. So they choose to act out in fear. So in verse Verse 25, it reads, he said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid. So Jesus asks them, where is your faith? And they were afraid. We can see that those two things are completely different. The opposite of fear is faith. And the opposite of faith is fear. So let me use a little metaphor, analogy thing for you guys for a second. Imagine that you're driving your own little boat. You're a little captain, you got your hat on, you're like toot toot, and you're driving. But here's the thing, this boat is too big. You're literally being thrown onto a ship and told, go from the United States to Europe, good luck. And you're kind of told to just drive. I mean, at first you might be like, I'm the captain now. And it might seem pretty fun and cool. But then when you end up driving into a storm and you're freaking out and you don't know how to get out of it, you're gonna wanna abandon ship, freak out. Pretty much things that you're probably not supposed to do to get out of a storm. This can relate to the storms in our own lives. Whether maybe you're caught up in a situation at home or between friends or maybe you're just internally battling like depression or lust or anxiety or all kinds of different things. No matter what, we're gonna be in a storm at one point in our lives and the thing with those storms is, is that we don't have control over them. We can't control what other people do to get us in these storms. We can't control the situations that play out in the storms. That is something that we are not tangible of doing. Well, we're here just like little skipper trying to drive the boat. The captain, aka Jesus, is standing right there the whole time with his little cartography map. I think that's what it's called. He's just waiting for you to let go of that steering wheel so he can come in and get you out of that and get you going on course where you need to be. When we try to take control of the storm and take control of our own lives, we end up acting out in fear because we don't know what we're doing. So rather than acting out in fear and trying to have control over the situation, we need to let go, let God come in, and have faith that he knows how to steer the ship. He knows what path we need to go on to get to the destination that we were called to be at. Because when we're trying to drive our own ship, we're going to end up at a destination that we never imagined we would end up at. So the question is, okay, well, the opposite of fear is faith. So to combat the fear that I have in my life, I need to have faith. But what do I need to have faith in? What do I do with that? How do I have faith? You need to trust that Jesus is bigger. You need to trust that he is better and that his will for your life is far greater than you could ever imagine. So rather than sitting there and dwelling in this fear, and thinking, how can I do this? What can I do? What about me? Nah, 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 nah. We need to shift our focus off of ourselves, off of our situation, and focus on God. We need to lift our eyes up to Him and say, God, I know you got this. You're the same God that took the slaves out of Egypt. 
You're the same God that split the Red Sea. You're the same God that made it rain bread from the sky. Like what the heck? I freaking love bread. You're the same God that came down and died for us in order that we could have a relationship with you. And the craziest part of that all is that we can either choose to accept that gift or reject that gift. But this is the same God who loves you and is willing to do anything to fight for you to get out of the situation that you're in so you can experience his grace and his freedom and his love. Who doesn't want that? The unknown evokes fear. but. If we choose to have faith and trust that God knows what he's doing, the same God who knew what he was doing since the beginning of time, if we trust in that, then we're going to have faith, we're going to have freedom, we're going to get out of that situation. We're going to give him the boat, and he's going to take us to all these beautiful destinations that you signed up for on your cruise, and it's going to be great. I hope this helped for some of you guys to learn how to overcome fear. It's honestly all about having faith in God and knowing that he's bigger than the situation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for videos every Sunday. If you want another Jesus video, Comment down below what kind of topic you want me to talk about and if you don't share the same beliefs as me Hey, that's a-okay I'm just here to speak what I believe and what has helped me overcome fear in my life And I just pray that you're respectful in the comments and I respect your beliefs as well All my social media is down below if you want to follow me and stalk me and creep on me and all that stuff And so is my P.O. box if you ever want to send me anything But with that being said remember to keep on keeping on and I'll catch you guys on the flip side stay stellar